I had to move to the other side of the world. I had to learn another language. I worked three jobs. It was chaos. We did struggle initially with spending two years in France almost and no salary. We had to um, live in something smaller. Waking up at four o'clock in the morning, obviously I was waking up everybody in the house. There are a lot of obstacles that come up when you're doing something that's unusual. And the important thing there is to not take too much notice of it. Otherwise you're not going to go anywhere, you're not going to achieve what you want to achieve. G'day, I'm Lionel, I'm a builder. I've been building now about 45 years. I built a cave, a, a tree house, and this building that we're in now that I haven't finished, it's called B House at the moment. It's closer to art than a, a building project. It's a wonderful thing to create something, to be able to look and see something that your energy's made that makes you feel really good and keeps you going. I'm Jan, I'm a baker. Really like when you're uh, baking anything, bread or pastries, it's really kind of a magical state where you just mix little things and bang, you've got your loaf of bread and you're looking at it and it's like a newborn. Hi, my name's Celeste. I'm a mezzo-soprano and an opera singer with Opera Australia. To step out on stage of the Sydney Opera House it was a dream come true and so thrilling. When you walk out of the dressing room and up the stairs to the stage, the moment that the curtain rises and you're there and singing and in the moment, you can feel the energy of the audience, the orchestra at your feet. It's such a joy. It's almost like electricity. The really nice thing with all these kinds of constructions is to see the joy on people that come and stay and use them. They walked into that building with that incredible view of the wilderness and it would have lifted their spirits and probably lifted them for, you know, the rest of their day. Yeah, all the pastries, all the breads and everything is, is good to do, but for me, it's the main thing is actually to give it to people, to share the love with people. I want people to actually test it, to put it in the mouth and you, you can hear the sounds of the, the crust getting like crunched between the teeth and that is just awesomely good to see the faces because the smile always follows after that. That's what's so lovely about opera. It's just our tiny little vocal cords sending sound out to the audience, carrying over the orchestra to the very back of the theatre. A piece of your soul is coming out in that voice that you've given to the audience because it's you, it's your personality, it's your artistic expression. I'd love to be able to share it with as many people as possible. It's a wonderful connection. Panasonic.